Okay, today I'm over here on Jekyll Island uh, looking at the Goodyear Cottage established in 1906. The Goodyear Cottage was built by Frank Henry Goodyear in 1906. These Goodyears are not related to the Goodyears that do the tires, two different families. This Frank Goodyear was a lumber and railroad baron. He was in the railroad industry and in the lumber industry with his brother. He's from Buffalo, New York. He started out, Frank Goodyear started out as a school teacher, then became a bookkeeper, then eventually got in business with his brother, creating the uh, Goodyear Lumber Company, which was in Pennsylvania. He also was the president of the Buffalo Railway, which was a big railway up north. The architect that built this uh, wonderful house was John Carrere and Thomas Hastings of Carrere and Hastings. This is an Italian Renaissance style, as you can tell with the overhang up there. Kind of like a really nice uh, structure. But also this, this has 16 rooms in it. Frank and his wife, Josephine, only spent one year because Frank died the following year. And Josephine Goodyear became a member and lived in this same cottage during the winters until 1915. After Josephine Goodyear's uh, passing, Frank Goodyear Jr., his son, after Josephine Goodyear passed away, his son Frank Jr. inherited the, the Goodyear Cottage in 1916. Frank Jr. also bought the Furnace Cottage, which was also the infirmary on the other. In 1930, Frank uh, Goodyear Jr. died in an accident. After Frank Goodyear Jr.'s death, his widow, Dorothy, took over the cottage and fell in love with Edmund Rogers, who was staying at the Moss Cottage, which is the next Moss Cottage over. So basically, they were neighbors and she ended up marrying him and they ended up taking over this cottage and while she was married to Rogers this cottage became known as the Rogers Cottage in the 1930s. The Goodyear Cottage was restored in 1974 and now it serves as an art gallery on Jekyll Island. Frank Goodyear was descended from Stephen Goodyear who founded New Haven, Connecticut. But Frank Goodyear was very stressed to run his business and he became ill he had a disease also probably brought on by stress or maybe living a hard life pushing himself too hard and he eventually died but uh but in, and also in the same time he created the empire of railroad industry and also a lumber industry where he made his fortune this is also a bathroom in the uh, goodyear cottage too awesome as you can see that's the goodyear cottage and the moss cottage is there that's how you can see dorothy was so close to edmund and how they got to know each other basically neighbors Okay, this is the Goodyear Cottage, built by um, Frank Henry Goodyear. Not related to the tire company at all, different set of Goodyears. It's over here in Millionaire's Village on Jekyll Island. What you notice is two stories high, possibly three. It's got a third story out there, probably an attic. Look at the windows out there, how they're all just under each other. They're probably a lot. They, all these uh, cottages have a lot of windows and doors coming in and out. This is the side of facing the marsh. But most of the cottages were facing toward the marsh because all those trees weren't there back in the day. But this is really cool. Look at that. Look at that style roof they have out there. Okay, this is the side facing the uh, the river. And this is the side where you, the door where you go in at. But I think that's a unique looking uh, overhang over for the roof out there. That's really interesting. But this is the side where you go in. It's the entrance to the art gallery. Been in there many times, really nice. You know, as most of them have, they have the basements. Most of these places have basements. This is the big door. All these cottages have super big doors. We're moving stuff in and out. Okay, we're heading to the back. Look at that. Up there, this is where the, and this is the back of the uh, Goodyear Cottage. All these cottages had chimneys because they had fireplaces, bunches of fireplaces in most of these places. This is the back. Okay, this is the back of the Goodyear Cottage. I like these rounded windows right here. I've looked through them on the inside through the art museum. But check that out. Windows. And, and this is the other side of the Goodyear Cottage. Really, really, I love it. The architecture. I love, again, I love that overhang up there. Really nice. One of the smaller cottages on Jekyll Island, but really nice. And this is the yard. All the nice trees they got out here. And the marsh. And this is back to the front with the 
good your cottage. And I'm back here in the back. They also got this area goes under. Gill it is, but look, this this is actually underneath. And this is a peak of their old kitchen right here. This used now. I mean, it's got some modern stuff in it, but some of this stuff is. This is probably where the kitchen was. Back. Going up the stairs, see what's up here. This is the Goodyear Cottage in Millionaire's Village on Jekyll Island. Cool, it keeps going. It goes all the way up there.